Hello, my name's Hilary James. I'm a musician, singer, and artist. My contribution to the book, The Art and History of White Nights, published by Two Rivers Press, is this iPad drawing of the annual street party on Telford Avenue. I lived here at number two until 2007. It's the end of a terrace of six houses. After that, the economy improved and the whole street was built in semi-detached houses. The brickwork is typical of Reading with patterns of red and silver grey bricks. There's always been a very strong sense of community in the White Knights area and Telford Avenue is no exception. It's always been a very sociable street and in 2012 they held their first big summer street party. It was a very wet day and we spent the entire afternoon dodging the puddles and the rain but it was a great opportunity for me to take photographs and do some sketching. This is an oil painting of the street that day, which I finished just a few weeks later. I really enjoyed painting the puddles in oil and trying to capture the reflections. I've always loved painting movement, so children, musicians, they all feature a lot in my work. And dancers too. Now this is a series of sketches that I made for a folk music project at the Museum of English Rural Life. That was back in 2011 and I used the sketches to illustrate an album of folk songs that I made shortly afterwards. The street party on Talford has remained an annual event since 2012 and even though I don't live there anymore, I always get up to it if I possibly can. There's always lots of food, lots of music, and activities for children, as well as plenty of games, favourite of which is the tug of war. This was made in 2016, and by that time I'd become fascinated by the possibility of working on an iPad. I had been very resistant to computer art, I'd always enjoyed conventional painting and drawing from life, but I'd been aware how much time it could have saved me in 2012 when I illustrated my first two children's books, creating characters and settings from imagination. For each drawing, I'd make a ream of preliminary sketches. Talking to other illustrators, it's not uncommon to spend six months working on a 32-page book. With an iPad, the whole process speeds up. You can change from pencil to pen, to watercolour, and then onto oil at the touch of a screen. You don't have to wait for paint to dry, and if the pen slips, there's the back button, so you don't have to start all over again. I'd had the iPad for a couple of months when I discovered the time-lapse video facility. Every mark of the pen is remembered and can be played back as a video. For the first time, I could combine art and music. In 2018, I illustrated a book of poetry and anecdotes by Simon Mayer, but was also able to feature videos for the first time using the illustrations to trigger augmented reality clips. Still the lake at evening where fireflies neath dark skies dance and glow a watery blue and vie with stars to cast a hue as fireflies do. It's now June 2020 and we've been in Covid lockdown for 12 weeks. I've used most of this time to make an animation for children, making stills on the iPad and then moving them over to my desktop to produce moving sequences. Up in a big balloon We'll fly much higher than birds ever try And we'll wave to the sun and the moon Looking below us the earth moves the slowest things usually do in all this time, I've missed my paintbrushes and paint, and as we come out of lockdown, I can get back into my studio and return to oil painting for the first time in a few years. I'm really looking forward to painting some new portraits of friends and family, just as soon as we're able to visit each other again. 
Sadly, there won't be a White Nights Trail this year. I can only say, please come back and see us again in 2021. Coming up in a moment are websites for me and for Two Rivers Press. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Flying so high as we wave our friends and neighbours goodbye. Flying, flying, flying so high that we bump our heads on the sky.